Welcome to the Mass File Migrate app by Satrang Technologies. This app is useful for migrating files from source org to destination org, which means one Salesforce org to another Salesforce org. Install this app from the App Exchange page by clicking on the Get It Now button. Once the app is installed, click on the App Launcher and search for the Mass File Migrate app. One thing to make sure is that all the configuration steps are done and your source org is connected to your destination org. From this support portal, you can access the configuration guide. Open the About Mass File Migrate tab, scroll down and click on the Map Parent Records from Source to Destination Org. The mapping between the source and destination records can be established by using the field API name in the destination org that stores the legacy IDs from the source org, or by using fields in the source and destination org that share the common unique identifiers. Similarly, you can map other fields and objects by clicking on this new button and entering source object, destination object API name, destination object external ID field API name, destination object name field API name, source object external ID field API name, and clicking on save button. This is the Mass File Migrate tab. Here, you will see the destination org my domain URL here. If your org is properly configured, this can be seen. Now click on Select Entity and select the entity that you want to migrate. Here, you can migrate files, attachments, lightning notes, classic notes without any efforts. You can even migrate library, chatter, or document files by selecting these options from here. Now filter out your files or attachments using this filter files by adding SOQL filter conditions. Here, write the query based on your requirements. The next option is to select object. Select the object that you want to use for the migration of files. If you want to filter out the specific records from the selected object, use this filter account records by adding SOQL filter conditions option. This toggle is for reconsidering the already migrated files. It will search the already migrated files all well. If you want to migrate them again, you can turn on this toggle. Now, click on the search button. A table will be displayed, which will show the files or attachments present in the source org. Here, you can select the files as pre-requirements, and once you click on the Migrate Selected button, this will ask you if you want to delete files after upload. If you want to delete the files after a successful migration, click this toggle on. If not, then keep it as it is. This is Set Share Type. If this toggle is on, it will set the share type of the migrated files. Using the share type of the file in source org, with this toggle, you can set the visibility of the migrated files using the visibility of the file in source org. Now, click on the Start Migration button. The selected files are then migrated to the destination org. You can access the files and mapped parent record in the destination org by directly clicking on the links present in the Migrate Status column or Destination Org Parent Record column. This opens parent record in destination org where we can see a new file has been attached to the record. If you want to migrate them all in one click, then click on Migrate All button. Here, you do not need to select files manually. Here again, it will ask if you want to delete files after upload, set share type, and set visibility, which you can select by this toggle on or off, and then click on the Start Migration button. Once the migration is successful, we can disconnect the destination org from the source org, by clicking on this Disconnect button. This is Migrate via Batch button. Using the Migrate via Batch button, you can migrate files in the background without needing to stay on the screen. Here, you can delete files after upload by the use of this toggle, Set Share Type, and Set Visibility. Once the migration is started, you will receive this notification. And you can click on this notification, and it shows you the status of this batch. Once all the files are migrated, you will receive a confirmation email at your registered email address. You can trace the live batch migration with the help of a report that comes with a package. Here, you can see the migration status. In Error Description column, you can easily review the errors. And you can refresh the report to track the execution. For Migrating Attachments, you have to select Attachment in Select Entity field. In Select Object, you can select Single, or multiple objects. The rest of the selections work similarly to files, and you can also migrate the attachments in a similar manner. 
This is Migrated Files tab. Once a file is successfully migrated, a migrated file record is created here. This record captures key details of the migrated file, including source file name, source file link, and also stores the file details from the destination org. This is the book a demo option, where you can directly book a call with us according to your date and time preferences. This is the support portal, where you can see all the details of the Mass File Migrate app, including its user guide, configuration guide, and FAQs. Here, you can even raise a new ticket for any of your queries or requirements, or check the status of your existing ticket. To see the additional paid features of this app in detail, have a look at the video links in the description of the video. Thank you.